hey fifth graders I'm sorry I'm not there today to start the um, project with you as we'd planned and um, unfortunately I feel like the iPad thing's not working out right now with the right app so I'm gonna put it on hold and I'm gonna ask you to start the same project today about the Explorer you read about last week um, with your same partner last Thursday in PowerPoint instead of on the iPad so each of you is gonna be getting a laptop to share as a partnership and I don't know what how much you know about PowerPoint I'm gonna give you a very quick overhaul of it and then I'll be in to help you hopefully more on Tuesday. Um, on the fifth grade laptops in the hallway, you're gonna find PowerPoint in one of two ways. One, it might be right on the desktop as an icon, but it may have just been updated um, like Microsoft Word was, so you might have to go to the Start menu, and you may see, you see mine here, right here, PowerPoint, and it might be like that on your computer, but if it's not, you don't see it listed here. You need to come down where it says All Programs, and then you need to just search for where it says Microsoft Office, and then find Microsoft PowerPoint. You're going to open that up. The very first thing I want you to do is actually to save this file. You're going to save it um, in fifth grade, grade five on the desktop, student files. I'm not at school right now, so I'm not in the network, but you're going to hit save as. You would go to desktop, you would go to grade five, you would go to a new folder called social studies, and you'll save it in either your room six, room seven, or room 11 folder, and please call it by the name of you and your partner. So if Audrey in my homeroom was my partner, I would write Audrey and Mrs. P, okay? And then I would hit save. And you can see kind of at the top it says our names now, okay? So then this is your title slide. And you're going to want to have more slides. And you're going to have a set of directions for how many slides you should have, okay? So on your slides, the easiest thing to do is to right click and you can add a new slide. And once you've done that, I find it really easy. You just hit enter. And as you hit enter, it actually lets you add new slides. So on the first slide, where it's, this is a title slide, if my explorer was Coronado, I'm going to type in his name, and then I would type Audrey's name and my name. And later, later, I can go back and change this text, I can make it more interesting, I can change the background, I can add some pictures. Backgrounds, colors, right click, format background solid fill, gradient fill, picture or text pattern. You can try all sorts of different things. Right now it's white. Let's change it to green. Okay. Down here, I could make all my slides green or I can make just this slide green. All right. So now on the next slide, that would be my first information slide. Here's for the title and here's where I'd add text. I can add pictures. I can add um, information. And you're going to look at your direction sheet for what information you're going to go back to your reading and share with um, the rest of the class about your Explorer. I believe if you right click and you go to layout, you can see all these different choices. So if you wanted to have a picture next to some bullets, like you could choose this one. And you could have pictures on one side and bullets on the other. There's a lot of different choices to pick from. Okay. So, to insert a picture, I got, I did get some pictures for us, and they are located on Edline. So what I'd like you to do, so for example, um, background was one of the things you were finding out about the Explorer. Background. So what I'd like you to do is to hit insert, and you're going to be able to go and get, and get a picture and put it in, okay? Um, if you go to Edline, again, you'll have to go, you'll go right from the icon that is um, in, um, on your desktop. Okay, so I put some very basic pictures on Edline. So if you make it to Edline, it's the black and white icon on the desktop, and you come to fifth grade, of course, and um, social studies. Here it says Explorer Picks. These are just some pictures I put in that go along with the things that we talked about in the um, in the unit, and um, there should be actually be a few other ones there um, tomorrow I think. But um, Coronado I think may have been a soldier, so I would come take the soldier pick. I'm gonna right click. I'm gonna try to copy it. I'm gonna see if that works. If not, you'll have to save it. Let's try. See these different paste options. You want to go with the one that says picture. Oh, it did work, yay. Okay, so you could then include some information about 
um, Coronado. Now I chose a background that doesn't have a place for me to put any text in, so I need to put a text box. Insert text box, and I can draw it, and then I can write it in. So I can say Coro. Nado was a soldier from Spain. I'm going to be honest, I'm making this information up right now, so if I'm not correct, Coronado Group, you can tell me. Okay? So listen, this is the basics. I want you to follow the directions that you'll have on the handout from the sub. You're looking to make, I think, a minimum of five slides, and it's pretty easy. Saving it in Grade 5 Student Files, and we should be good to go. I promise we're going to get back to the iPads, but this is just a way to take our information that we had and um, do something with it right now. Okay? Hopefully I will see you guys on Tuesday.